Hyuel, Knights and Warriors. I continue my adventure with Norman Saga. In my previous video I talked a lot about missile weapons and today I am returning to them uh, to cover most of the stuff about cover and line of sight because previously I just touched this subject and today there will be more talking about terrain and its impact on missile weapons. So let's start this talk. Uh, as you can see we have a couple of Normans and some Arabian archers and uh, javelin throwers on board uh, to show us where, where can we fire at enemy and where we can't. Of course sometimes we can but terrains give us some problems. So let's start. Here we have scrap. This is one of the most popular uh, kinds of terrain in this game uh, and Scrap is not a problem if you are going to fire through or in. You can fire above the scrap or into the scrap. This is not a problem, but it causes some issues. First, if you are firing into hex with a scrap, you can do it, but uh, your target will benefit from the light cover. And the same thing goes if you are firing through the scrap. So, for example, if this uh, Hamid will uh, fire on Arthur, Arthur is, Arthur is in the clear terrain, but his line of sight comes through the scrap, so it still will be a, a light cover for Arthur. Next, we have trees. Trees are blocking our line of sight if you are f we, we are firing through the tree hex. So, if there will be an enemy uh, and we have a tree on our line of sight, then we cannot fire at him. For example, Arthur is here, Hamid is there, and Hamid cannot fire to Ar at Arthur because tree is blocking our line of sight. But still, you can fire on the characters that are on the tree hexes if you can trace the line of sight into them. So, now Hamid would be able to fire at Arthur, but since Arthur is on the hex with a tree, he benefits from the light cover. In some other games of this series, it is uh, sometimes possible to uh, climb on the tree, but uh, it, is, uh, it appears in the Sherwood game, which is a different uh, part of the story, so I'm not going to cover it in this uh, series, maybe in some other. So uh, what, we, what you need to know about trees is that you, can f you cannot fire through, but you can fire into the tree. Next, we have slopes. Slopes are probably one of the most complicated cases in this uh, game when it comes to cover and line of sight. In general, if character is on slope, he benefits from medium cover. So, for example, if Tariq would like to uh, fire on uh, him, then this uh, Norman Knight will benefit from medium cover, which is pretty good. But the situation uh, goes uh, different if your character is on the slope and enemy is, for example, below the slope. What happens if uh, your target is at last as far from the slope as you, you can fire at him. But if he is closer than you, this means that you cannot hit him. Uh, I think this is the, be the best thing would be to show you. Let's say that Hamid, uh, Hamid would be here and he would be there. This means that Hamid cannot fire at him because you can see that he is closer to slope than Hamid. But if Hamid would be there, then he would be free to fire at him. And if he would be, let's say, here, and Hamid would be here, this means that, he is, uh, that Hamid is closer to the slope than him. So Hamid can still fire at him. Certainly, if he would be on the slope, then 
Hamid would be able to fire at him no matter if he's here, there or anywhere else as long as he can trace the line of sight. Of course, he would benefit from medium cover. High difference uh, can also bring some other uh, uh, changes. For example, is if shooter is one level higher in elevation and located less than half of the short range distance, he can ignore enemy cover from scrap, marsh or shallow water or slope. Uh, what it means uh, being higher? Uh, two hexes separated by slope create a high difference. Uh, so, for example, this hex is definitely higher than this hex. So, if we are here and enemy is there, then this means that we can ignore his cover, of course, as long as he's uh, in the proper distance. This means he has to be at last half of our short range distance. So, let's say that he is here in the scrap and our archer is here. So, the distance is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have a short bow and when it comes to short bow, our uh, short range is 10. So, he is in the half of our short range. Normally, he would benefit from light cover because of the scrap, but because our archer is one level higher and he is in the half range of his short range, this means that uh, Samir will ignore a cover and will fire at him, just like he would be in the clear ter terrain. Now, about friendly and enemy characters on our line of sight. Uh, like you probably remember, uh, they are uh, sometimes blocking your line of sight and sometimes they are not. So, let's talk more about it. If you are horse archer, you can fire above a friendly character on the enemy as long as your friendly character is food character and he is adjacent to you. So, here we have a Byzantine horse archer. He wants to fire. He can fire at this uh, Juliame, who is normal knight, because there is a friendly uh, hoplite here, but he is adjacent to our horse archer, so he is not blocking line of sight here. But if uh, he would like to fire at him, it, would, it wouldn't be possible, because there is mounted warrior on the adjacent hex, so he's blocking line of sight in this direction. So this is not possible to fire at him from this horse archer. Next, uh, characters can also block your line of sight or not uh, when you are firing from foot. If uh, you are archer or you are a uh, javelin thrower, you can fire at both friendly and enemy characters as long as you are firing on the medium or long range. You cannot fire at both friendly or enemy characters if you are firing on the short range. So, here we have Byzantian archer, he's armed with shot bow, and he wants to fire at this Norman knight. Let's trace his line of sight, and you can see it passes another Byzantian hoplite. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. A range is 13, and for the short bow, this is medium range. So, yes, it is possible to fire above this uh, hoplite without uh, being worried that he will block our line of sight. And uh, finally, slopes. Again, we are ter returning to the slopes. If enemy is one level higher, then we can fire above one of our friendly foot warriors. So. Let's say that this Byzantine archer 
wants to fire at this Norman knight, knight who hides himself in the tree on this uh, hill. There is a friendly character on the line of sight, but his, since enemy is one level higher, we can fire above one of our friendly characters without being worrying, worry of uh, him blocking our line of sight. If there will be another hill here, and if he will be two levels above this archer, this means that this archer would be able to fire above two of characters. But there is only one, so we can freely try to hit this Norman knight. And finally, something about a bit more wet terrain. Hexes of water uh, are qu quite impo important because uh, characters that are in water never block our line of sight. So, for example, this Byzantine archer may fire at this Norman knight without taking care of this Byzantine javelin thrower because uh, he is in the water, so he is not blocking our line of sight. Same goes to uh, this situation. This Norman archer is in water, so he is not blocking line of sight between these two characters. Uh, wa uh, warriors in the water always benefit from the light cover, same, save to the two situations. First, when enemy is on the adjacent hex or when enemy fires from above. For example, if this uh, Norman javelin thrower would be a target for this Byzantine archer, he wouldn't benefit from light cover because this Byzantine archer fires from the hill. If he would be here, uh, here, he would be able to fire at him, but he will be in the light cover. But since he is on the hill, he can ignore his light cover. The same situation is with Marsh. Uh, marsh uh, is also a kind of, uh, well, wet <laughs> terrain uh, that provides light cover, but not if you are firing from above. So if our archer would try to fire at this Norman knight, then this Norman knight wouldn't benefit from light cover. But if any of these archers would try to fire at this uh, Norman knight, uh, he will benefit from being in the light cover. I guess this covers most of the stuff when it comes to the basic terrain in Norman Saga. Uh, of course, uh, we have castles and buildings, but I think that buildings and castles uh, deserve their own separate materials. So uh, that would be all for today. If you have any questions regarding this video or Norman Saga in general, you are welcome to post them in the comments.